y equals a times x minus p times x minus q is what we would call the factor form of a quadratic equation. It doesn't always look this nice, but you can always recognize it by its signature of two brackets. Here's an example, y equals negative 2 times 1 minus x times x plus 5. You only need the final direction and its x-intercepts to get a rough sketch of this parabola, so let's learn how to reproduce this and find the other critical points for a complete picture of the graph. G'day guys, this is the math base. As always, there's four steps to getting everything, and they are the final direction, the x and y intercepts, and the turning point. Step 1. Calculate the a value for the final direction. It's not as obvious as you might think. What you need to do is grab the factor outside and multiply it by the x terms on the inside. Now that we have 2x squared, we can see that the a value is actually 2, which is positive. So the graph finishes upwards, which is a smiley face. <coughs> Step 2. Find the x-intercepts. Some of you may prefer to work it out logically from the factors. But if you want to do it mathematically, you can use the null factor law. Basically, when y equals 0 for the x-intercepts, one of these factors need to equal 0 for it to be true. So equate each factor with 0. Then, rearrange them to find x. So the intercepts are at negative 5 and positive 1. At this stage, we can draw the parabola, but it won't be good enough for an accurate sketch. It just gives you a big picture of what's going on. So let's keep going. Step 3. Calculate the y-intercept. You can do this by letting x equal 0. Sub that into the equation, and y evaluates to negative 10. And that's our y-intercept, 0, negative 10. Step 4. Calculate the turning point. This step is similar to the way we found it in the standard form. I don't want to say it's easier or more difficult, but it's just slightly different. Due to the parabola being symmetrical, the turning point always sits squarely between the x-intercepts. So you can find h by taking the average, or midpoint, of negative 5 and positive 1. So this becomes negative 2. Now, k is a y value. So plug negative 2 into the quadratic equation to work it out. This turns out to be negative 18. So our turning point is negative 2, comma, negative 18. The final step is to draw it out. So plot the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and the turning point. Then draw the curve through, keeping in mind which way it's supposed to finish. As usual, label the graph with any missing points and the equation. And we're done. So the calculations feel quite balanced throughout this process, but it can sometimes be easier depending on your factors. For example, if both the factors are identical, then you would have a graph that touches the x-axis. Otherwise, there's two distinct x-intercepts and the parabola would simply cut through the x-axis, just like ours did. However, there isn't any factor form for parabolas that avoid the x-axis, in which case you would either have a turning point form or a standard form to work with. So the factor form guarantees some sort of x-intercept. So if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also be sure to check out my other videos on parabolas in the quadratics playlist, which you can find in the description below. I'm uploading videos every Friday now, so subscribe and ring the bell to stay in touch. Thanks guys, see you next time.